Holy Toledo, this card sold for $2.6 million. Recently, there was this one of one Magic the Gathering card, which was pulled from a pack, and then it was sold to, who would you think? Post Malone. Here's what I think we may want to talk about for a second. How much do you think this lucky individual was able to clear and take home? You may not venture, I guess, but I can offer a little insight. So I've linked in the description an article from Forbes magazine where they talk about a special capital gains tax rate that applies to investors on certain investment assets. It's plausible that you might be able to use this collectible capital gains tax if this would be considered a collectible, and that would set the maximum tax at 28%. Now keep in mind, that's just the federal tax. Of course, there would also be your state and local tax, which could be another five to 10%, just depending on where you reside. Also think about this, if you held that card as a businessman in an LLC as inventory, what tax rate do you think would apply then? Well, the collectible capital gains tax would not apply. You're in business, so you would pay tax at regular rates. And your regular rate would depend on your tax situation for that year and your unique personal circumstances, but it could range from anywhere from 0% up to 37%. That's your federal tax. Then your next layer of tax would be your self-employment tax, which is 15%. And then you would have your uh, state and local tax, which could range from five to 10%. So let's just compound all that up on the high end, about 52% there, add your state and county tax. Man, that could be another five to 10%. You could be at almost 60% tax if you sold this card as a business person. So to give you an idea of their take home, if the collectibles tax rate would apply and they lived in a uh, maybe a, a no tax state, the take home could be as high as 1.8, 1.9 million dollars. But on the other end of the spectrum, if they're in business and if they live in a high tax state and they're high income already, their take home could be as low as like 1.2, 1.3 million dollars. So it's a pretty big span. In, it's just a lot to think about what the tax bite is. And I'm just here keeping it real for you as your favorite CPA. For deeper insight into how to collectibles taxation can work, take a look at the link in description. And as always, if you like this content, go ahead and mash that like button, share and subscribe. 